We are here with Mark Freethy, who is from the Elk Grove Unified School District, and he is one of two Teachers of the Year for that district. Mark, thanks for joining us for this uh, little talk here. Okay, good to be here. Well, first tell me, uh, where do you teach? Uh, what subjects do you teach? I'm a math teacher at Toby Johnson Middle School. Okay, and what age is, what grade? Is 7th and 8th both? 7th and 8th grade. We're a little unique there in that we loop with our kids, which means we... Um, I start with seventh graders, and then I become their eighth grade uh, teacher the next year. Okay, so you you, you have the benefit of having kids for a longer period. For a of longer time. period of time, it's a wonderful thing uh, to get to know kids and have them for two years. Yeah. And how does that help them with the content if you have them for a longer period of time? We just started the new school year, and I'm able. I know I have 220 students. I know. 218 of them, and I know them very well from last year. So starting the new school year, I don't have to take a week, two weeks, a month to get to know who they are, their skills. I already know their skills. So we can start the eighth grade year just running. And, and so we think it, it, we really get a lot more um, out of our students uh, and see a lot more growth, especially the eighth grade year. Well, let me ask you, what does it mean to you to be chosen as a teacher of the year for your school district? Um, well, I, I think it's very humbling um, because I like, to, I like to view myself as I just represent a lot of great teachers. I have learned so much and continue to learn so much uh, from my peers. We have, we have just outstanding teachers. And I, so it's very humbling to be selected as a teacher of the year. Um, and when people congratulate me, sometimes I feel a little bad because I think, you know, I, I've learned so much from this pers particular person and they're congratulating me when, when, and I try to congratulate them and say, you know, I've learned so much from you. Now, how long have you been teaching? This is, I'm starting my 31st year. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. It's a long time. What do you enjoy about teaching? What do you like the most? Um, you know, I just, I love the look on kids' face when faces when they get excited about mathematics and just excited about learning uh, I've had just uh, I've had kids that they just they, they do the ooh ooh and, you know and and or kids that'll stay after and say oh I gotta show you something Mr. Freethy I had I had somebody last year a girl say she just couldn't wait to stay after class to tell me what she discovered about mathematics and she discovered something pretty cool it was a pattern that I hadn't seen and it was like wow that's really cool and uh, so that's to me what, what when kids get excited, that, that, that makes it all worth it. So that's a great reward for you to see that, to see that connection because it's not always sure. an instant connection, is it? It just kind of, it just shows up. Right, right. I mean, you know, you're trying to make connections, but, you know, sometimes you go, oh, I thought I made a great connection, and it, it didn't happen. And then sometimes, all of a sudden a connection gets made and kids sometimes, what I, what I really enjoy is it'll be in the middle of a lesson and all of a sudden the kids will take me to some place I, I had no, end, no idea I was going to go. And it was like, we'll be talking about something in math and it'll, we'll be off our target, but it's wonderful because it's, it's generated by them and they're kind of directing the lesson and, and we'll eventually get back on task to where we need to be, but, but it's a wonderful opportunity uh, to let them sometimes lead the discussions. What do you find, do you consider the biggest challenge, uh, not only being a, a, a teacher, but being a math teacher? What are some of the big, bigger challenges for you? Well, I, I think for being a math teacher, quite often it's people's preconceived idea on whether they're a good math student or not. You hear people say, uh, and sometimes parents will say, well, I was never very good at math. And I have the attitude of everybody can be good at math. It's, it just takes, um, it takes successful experiences uh, to kind of turn their attitude around sometimes. But if I can show students that some success and say, no, you really are a good math student. You have the ability to be a good math student. Uh, I've got to make them believe that. And that's, that's a huge challenge for me, is if I can make a student believe that they're a good math student, well, then they are. Do you see education changing, or how do you see it changing? Um, you know, uh, 
It's changed a lot over 30 years. I started teaching in the 70s. Um, but I see it changing in some real positive ways. I see some of the most committed, uh, well-trained teachers that I've, that I've ever experienced or in the last five years. Just some, there's so many wonderful teachers that are, are committed, they, they've got great skills, and there's a lot more collaboration, a lot, a, a lot more teaming that's going on today than there, there was in the past, where the math teacher or whatever teacher would stay in the room, they'd teach, they'd grade their papers, they'd go home. There's a, a tremendous amount of teaming and sharing, and consequently, I think almost, to use a math term, exponential growth in, in not just the students, but in the, the teachers and their skills. So basically it's kind of a collaborative effort of, of all the departments within the school, all the teachers working together. Correct. And so the benefit is the whole student, so to speak. I learn, the only time we ever used to see, say the English teacher would be maybe at the end of the year party or the Christmas party. But now we're in meetings and we'll be in trainings and sometimes the English teacher will be training us, uh, the math department, on um, how to develop questioning, higher level questioning skills. And so yes, there's a, a much stronger collaborative effort um, and it's, it's not just within the math department, it's, it's within teams and, and across disciplines. Now is there anything special that you try to do to inspire your students? Um, you know, I, I do a lot of, uh, I do a lot of, I try to do a lot of motivational things. Sometimes it's just very simple. Uh, one of my favorites is to get out my, my little putting mat. And it's amazing how, how kids, after they do a math problem, if the reward is they get to come up and see if they can make a putt. I mean, everybody likes to putt. Sure. And so just some fun things like that. Um, sometimes um, I, I try and have fun. Uh, mix, you know, it's very serious and, and, and it's very important. Mathematics is, is the most important subject in school. Uh, <laughs> coming from a math teacher, coming from, expect that's, nothing less. Uh, um, but we try to have some fun and, and show them that, um, you know, we're, we're, we're not just a teacher, we're also human. Do you find it more difficult these days to grab a kid's attention and inspire that student? Well, it probably takes it might take more effort on, effort on my part, but at the same time, after having taught for so long, I have way more tricks in my bag than I did a long time ago. So I don't know if it's harder. Um, you know, it, it, it probably is easier because of the team I'm on and, the, and that surrounds me, and I have people feeding me good ideas, and that, that makes my job easier. If I was by myself, I'd probably say, this is really hard. And again, it's the collaborative effort that you were talking about. Absolutely. Now, is there any one teacher in your past that uh, inspired you in any way? Oh, the, there's been, been a lot of teachers over the years, but I think a lot of us, a lot of times it goes back to um, one of my coaches in high school. I was a, uh, I was a wrestler, and my wrestling coach uh, was a special ed teacher. And this was back in Michigan in the 70s, and I, uh, there were no jobs for, for many teachers other than special ed teachers, and so I got connected with him, and he really inspired me, and I started off originally uh, as a special education teacher. Oh, okay. Well, what would you say to those people out there who are considering teaching as a profession? How would you inspire them? Uh, it is a fantastic career. Um, it, it's, it's wonderful to work with, with kids and, and you get so much out of seeing kids learn, um, develop, grow. One of my favorite things is when I run in to my past students in the community who are now 20, 22, 25 years old and see that, you know, little goofy Johnny has grown up to be this really good, mature human being that has a job and and, and when, when uh, one of my past students will say, I remember in eighth grade when, when we did this. I mean, that, that is so rewarding. Uh, my wife's a teacher. Both my children are teachers. Wow. And so... Um, it's in your blood. It's in, yeah, it is. It is. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. This okay. is Mark Freethy with the Elk Grove Unified School District, one of their two Teachers of the Year for 2008.